All right, new Friday segment is making its debut in the nine o'clock hour. Hi, Pat. Why are you smiling like a goofball for? Oh, I can't be happy to you, be amongst you, you all. You're I'm never happy. happy. I'm always happy, just not when I'm out here usually. <laughs> you guys, if you guys know one thing about me, you know I love to be out on the town yeah. doing cool stuff, doing cool things, seeing cool things, checking out the latest hipster sushi fried chicken joint. And it's time I share my expertise with all of you. So every Friday at this time, mm. I'm going to be giving you my list of the top five super cool things to do in Chicago land. It's a little segment I like to call on the town of Sulo. <laughs> <laughs> All the hip events. All right. So this first one, I'm really excited about. If you love touching things and you love trucks, this is the event for you. It's the Touch a Truck in Highland Park. Saturday, 10 a.m. until noon, Sunset Woods Park. They're going to have fire engines. This is a real event. These are all real events. Really? Bobcats, dump trucks. If it's on wheels or makes a lot of noise, you will find it. Kids are allowed, but an adult must be with them. We don't want a repeat of 05 when little Timmy Nelson took an ambulance through town. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, great events, lots of trucks, unlimited touching of the trucks. Here's another good uh, event, the Pretty Woman Mud Run, a 5K obstacle course in Mud Run in Orland Park. Here's the thing, you don't have to be actually pretty to participate. Really? Mildly attractive women are welcome. <laughs> They're even going to make some exceptions for downright ugly, horrendous women. Really? Best part, good. proceeds go to the Susan G. Komen Foundation, <laughs> so don't think twice about paying the $69.95. What else are you going to spend it on anyway? Beer and cigarettes? Right. Here's a good one for all of you astrology fans out there. A psychic luncheon out in Grant Park. Not the Grant Park. Grant Park, the tiny village in Kankakee. $29.95 gets you a five-course meal that includes CBS, chicken, beef, and sausage. Maybe a little masta chole. We don't know. Plus a five-minute <laughs> personal reading from Rita Peterson. Oh, now, I don't God. know Rita personally, but she looks reputable. Yeah. Actually, yeah. that's not Rita herself. We couldn't find a picture of her anywhere on the Internet. So huh. you're on your own there. Next event all the way out in Coal City, but worth it. It's the Coal City Beanbag Tournament. Oh, yeah. Everyone knows Coal City is the cornhole capital of the Midwest. <laughs> all day cornhole, a free concert. <laughs> DJ Scott Peterson on the ones and twos. Yeah. Yes, that Scott Peterson. Uh -huh. Really? Count out some fierce competition <laughs> as countless teams are going to be aiming for each other's cornholes all day long. My last pick, get your butt down to Batavia for some standing meditation. Meditation. If you're looking for some self-understanding, awareness, compassion, and who isn't, check out Standing Pose for Teachers with Jeff Manning. 45 bucks, a steal, a seminar on meditation with Jeff Manning. Buddhists all over the world worship this guy. All these years, they've only mastered sitting meditation. They got J-Men in there, changed their lives. They're standing meditating everywhere. Wait a second, I'm here, we have a bonus event. All There's right. a bonus event. Whoa! Mike Toomey, Pat Tomasulo, and Annabella Vaughn will be doing stand-up this weekend in Buffalo Grove. It's the Bison Boosters second annual comedy jamboree. Yes, this is what it's come to. Saturday night in Buffalo Grove. Anything that's the second annual has to be good. Of course, none of us were involved in the first annual, but they're bringing us back anyway. It's going to be a lot of fun. So those are my events. You know, I'm trying to get out there. Anybody can recommend clubs and restaurants and, and art yeah, exhibits. Sure. But only this guy gets to the events that the people love. I think you should wear one of those straw hats like Billy Deck next time. Maybe trend it up a little we bit. We don't mention that name during this. <laughs> okay, there's only one nightlife expert on this show.